Hey guys, welcome to my 18th Python 3 tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to format strings in Python. Um, and formatting strings is really important, basically just to make your program look good. Um, and that's really important when you want your, your program to be you know, more user friendly um, and you know, just make it look good. Um, and you know it comes in handy. It comes in handy basically all the time, but especially when you're trying to format a table to make a table look good, um, and and things of that nature. So let me just go ahead and show you the the basics of it first, and then I can build from there. Um, and basically, how I'm going to format the strings is by using a method of the string class uh, called format. So let me show you how I'm going to use it. Now, I'm going to first just format. To show you the basics, I'm going to do this. Um, now, when you're formatting, now here, let me just throw in the format method real quick. Because this is a method of the string class, this is the string literal, and then this is being performed on it. Now, when you're using this format, um, basically what it does is it looks through and looks through any of these braces here. Um, and then if it sees them, it puts in what you pass as, as an argument. Um, so I'll do that right now. Oops, I did not want to cap. All right, and so there you go. You can see it just puts knights in this first one and knee in the second one. Um, <clears throat> now, you can also do something. I just want to show you real quick using numbers. And basically, what these numbers mean is this zero. It goes to the first one because. Uh, the zero is the very first argument, one is the second argument, so on and so forth. And now, see, right right here, you, you can't notice any difference. Let's say I did something like this. One, zero. Oops, I did not mean to put two. Now you can see what happens if you put a number that isn't uh, a part, it, it is, is too high or, or too low or something like that. Um, and a negative number would be too low. Now you can see it actually switches them around. It cut, This one grabs the the argument that's at index one, which is knee, puts it there. The zero does the same thing for knights. And if I did this, um, you can see it just ignores knights completely. It doesn't actually use it and just uses knee for both of these. Um, now, let me show you what I can do uh, with numbers real quick. Actually, for I want to use strings as well, so I'll show you what I'm. Um, so this first one is going to be a number, I'm going to say 50, and the second one is going to be a string, I'm going to say sheep. Um, now they don't actually have to, be, have to be a string, but in order for it to make sense, I'm going to. So now you can see it says I ate 50 sheep. Now um, you, can, you can actually, other than just doing this uh, you know, 0 and 1, you can actually pass in um, more kind of arguments to these, to this, into, inside these brackets. And you do that by putting this colon here. Then after the colon, you can put the minimum amount of space you wish to a lot for um, whatever is being put in in place of this uh, little formatting thing here. And so let's say I say five. Now I'm gonna get rid of this one. What that means is it allow it allots at least f five characters, um, and the number can be larger. Then it'll just make the space larger. And then so you can see it for numbers, it pushes it to the end here. Um, and for strings, if I did the same thing, actually I'm gonna put more just so it's more obvious. Let's say nine. You can see it pushes it to the left. Um, so if you wanted to make the the uh, the number, sorry, go to the the left, then you could do you could just convert it to a string and then do that. Um, and the the number actually has one other thing that it can do. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Uh, that the that strings cannot, and that is. Um, you can put in decimal points, and sorry, I did not take out that. All right, and so now you can see it actually rounds it to three decimal points. Now let's say I had a number that's larger, that's like fifty point one three or not three, whatever, just random numbers. Um, now this rounds it to three decimal points. Um, and basically you can use it, I can round it to, let's say, one decimal point. So if you're making like a table, you can round to single decimal points, two decimal points, um, not decimal points, but, you know, decimal places, um, and so on and so forth. 
So now come, I'm going to show you this in use. Um, well, not the decimal, not the decimal places, but just uh, like creating a table. So I'm going to do this for i in range 1 to 11. Now the 11 is not going to be used, so it's actually 1 to 10, if you remember from ranges. Um, I'm going to print, and I'm going to have a string, and I'm going to have it formatted. Now, basically, this is going to print the number in that one, then the square in that one, then the cube in that one. So, I don't need that. Let me go ahead and do the number, the square, and the cube. And in this one, I want it, since the highest number is 10, I want it formatted to 2. And then this D basically tells Python that it is a integer. Um, D is not decimal, it's or decimal or anything like that, or double. It is actually integer. Um, and then this one, I'm going to have 3, because the highest is 1,000, which is 3, or sorry, 100, which is 3, and then this extra space just to make it look nice. So then D. And then this one, highest is 1,000, this time, so 4. And now, let me run it. And you can see, there you go. It looks really nice. Um, it's all formatted to the right nicely. It's lined up. Everything is so you can see it. And if I had not used this, if I had done just simply this, let me do this real quick. Oops, I need to do this. Sorry. There we go. Sorry. I forgot that one. There we go. If I had just done this, um, you can see it would have been all over the place. And this up here is, looks so much nicer. Um, so that's basically all I wanted to talk about for formatting. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment and uh, answer it as soon as I can. And basically, you know, formatting is, is just to make it look nice. Um, you can get into a little bit more detail if you want to look online uh, on Python's website. You can do that. Um, and you can there's there's even more stuff you can go into, but this is ba this is just the basics, um, and you really don't have to know too much more for that for uh, just making it look nice. But again, if you if you do want to know more, then go ahead look online, or you know shoot me a message, a comment, anything like that, and I'll I'll answer it as soon as I can. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.